Hello dear friends, today let's address an important question as to what is the best technique to follow during FACO in soft cataracts. I'm sure that opinions will vary when addressing this question because what works well for one may not work for the other. And many surgeons who try to perform the same technique they apply for the routine grade 2 to 3 cataracts like stop and chop or direct chop are the ones who will end up with crater formation and heartaches. Those who swear by hydroprolapse of the entire lens from the capsular bag are those those surgeons have converted from 6 to FACO because they're used to making larger rexes. However, femtosecond cataract surgeons may not advocate performing it through a small 4.75 to 5 mm rexes as there's a small risk of capsular blowout. Using a horizontal blunt chopper is an excellent option. However, you need a good microscope and great visibility. In my early days of learning this technique, I have created a few ZD because my chopper has actually passed over the rexus edge. This usually happens in the second or third chop attempts due to roughly up of the cortex impairing visibility or the pupil shutting down making it difficult to visualize the CCC edge. Pre-chopper seems to work in the hands of experts but for lesser models like me seem to suffer from loss of anterior chamber volume and always there's a fear that I may damage the edge of the capsular rexus. So I stumbled upon a very flawless technique that can be done by everybody in all cases of soft cataract. Now this technique is easy and it can be done even by novice FACO surgeons and the most important thing is that there are no hidden risks even for the novice surgeon. So let me explain this technique which I have already presented many times in the past. First, we need to perform the capsular rexus. We do not have to make the capsular rexus large like if you have to hydroprolapse the nucleus but the capsular rexus size may be kept to about 5 to 5.25 millimeters which is the ideal size of rexus that one would advocate in FACO emulsification and the use of premium intraocular lenses in order to get a good overlap of the rexus over the optic edge. The first thing is hydro delineation. You need to do hydro delineation because this will immediately delineate the soft endonuclease score. Now remember hydro delineation will definitely be possible in all cases of soft cataract. If you're really doing a soft cataract it will be possible then we have to follow it up with hydro dissection. The cortical cleavage hydro dissection is important to make the epinucleus move and this will help to remove the epinucleus shell later on in the procedure. Now let us see the procedure itself starting from the FACO emulsification with a very low power setting of only 20% and a vacuum which is pretty high of 300 millimeters of mercury. Now we need to decap the epinucleus first and also prevent conjunctival chemosis if it occurs. So once you decap, I'm just using vacuum, no power at all. The endonucleus that has been delineated simply pops out. Now this will pop out even if the rexus size is 3.5 millimeters or 4 millimeters or 4.5 millimeters. So there's no risk that you have to create a larger size rexus and there's no risk of capsular blowout. Now because you have done a good cortical cleavage hydro dissection, the epinucleus will easily be aspirated with vacuum itself. So this epinucleus will also rotate which makes it easy to position it inferiorly for removal. If you see in the timeline of the video, this is a totally unedited video of course, you will see that the whole procedure takes just about a minute to complete and that's all there is to it. Let's see another case performing the same technique. The capsular rexus is performed. This is a soft cataract. Of course, I don't recommend this technique for cataracts that are harder than grade 1 nucleosclerotic cataract because of risk of damage to the endothelium. The crucial point or the crux is to create the hydro delineation. Hydro delineation is not difficult in soft cataracts. If you're really handling a soft cataract, you can hydro delineate. In fact, this is a proof that the cataract is soft. The fact that you can hydro delineate and the fact that this technique will work. And you have to always perform hydro dissection following the delineation. Otherwise, you will end up with an epinucleus shell that fails to rotate. Let's see the entire procedure and see that it takes just about a minute to complete. You decap the epinucleus first. I'm working only with vacuum till this point. So once you use vacuum, the delineated soft nucleus core will simply jump out from within its surrounding epinucleus and this can be removed 
using very short bursts of FACO but mostly staying with high vacuum. So we need to use very low FACO power either in the pulse mode or the multiburst mode and then use a high vacuum of 300 to 350 millimeters of mercury. See how well the epinucleus rotates because of the cortical cleavage hydro dissection and this can be simply removed with the help of vacuum and that's all there is to it. Thank you for your attention.